What's up, YouTube fam? The doctor's back in the house. And let me look at the camera here. Um, so I am actually pretty excited. I'm recording on my AI Bird Duo Play Gimbal 2S. And I'm pretty excited to test it out. I'm actually testing out um, the new condenser mic that we got, which I'll be using next few weeks on my trip to uh, Hong Kong and Shenzhen. If you guys didn't know, I am going to be departing for a couple weeks. I'd say about two and a half weeks. So um, I'm going to try to get caught up, send you guys messages um, while I'm out there. Um, China's pretty strict as far as us getting on Google, Facebook, any kind of social media. So um, when I get locked into a VPN, I'll go ahead and try to answer any questions that you guys might have. Um, I am going to go on a tech mission. So um, I'm going to be attending the Global Sources, HKTDC, and uh, there's two different global sources, uh, one for mobile devices, another for consumer electronics. I'll be attending both of those. And then in Shenzhen, I'll actually be visiting some of my suppliers, see uh, some of the latest technology that's out for the phone repair industry. Um, I'm hoping to bring back some really cool stuff. And um, yeah, I'm just overall, I'm really excited. Um, you know, I've done this trip uh, many a times and um, it doesn't get any fun or, you know, I'm, I'm just uh, ecstatic to uh, visit Hong Kong and Shenzhen. I love it. It's like a second home. I wouldn't mind living there if I had the opportunity to. So, um, yeah. So, um, let's go ahead and let's check this gimbal out. Bam, see, so here's our lab, our main room here. Which, everything is still under construction. We're still moving. We got to put towel in another room and um, move around. It just... It never ends, you know, but little by little, we'll surely get everything uh, organized and the way it should be. At least our parts and stuff is organized, you know, so um, yeah, here's uh, my little dormitory den. You can see here, it's where all the brainstorming, the command station is right over here. Bam. You can see that there. It's a little messy. I got like everywhere, but um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I just want to give this little... Uh, new toy that I have here is shot. I'm gonna have to build up my shoulder strength. I already feel it burning, so um, I'm gonna be hitting, have to hit the gym a little bit more work on my shoulders because this weight here is, uh, yeah, it's a little uh, cumbersome and let's see how well it, I hold up holding. I might have to switch hands. So if you guys didn't know, we are actually gonna be giving away one of these uh, AI Bird, the two series. So um, if you guys haven't liked, subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Um, yeah, take a look at the video. I'm going to be going over the B grades and what qualifies for repair and what's going to be a little bit more riskier. So there is going to be some riskier repairs if your OLED does have some damage like this. So um, if it does, um, you know, we'll do our very best. We'll handle it extra cautiously and make sure that it, it, it survives well we'll try to make sure it survives i can't guarantee that it's going to survive or not but these things have a mind in their own and one little delicate move and it can be completely lost and we are looking for partners guys if you guys want to offer our services um what we do we'll offer you full training get you guys all the machinery the parts and everything and you guys can open up shop in your city so uh, we look forward to helping you guys out and um hoping that you guys can have a successful business and get everything running right with low overhead. It's it's very costly to get started. So um, by partnering with us, we'll actually teach you guys all our little trade secrets, keep everything alive and keep money in your pockets. You know, we've uh, invested a lot of money already in this technology and, um, you know, we have it down to good science to have a really good ratio of repairs. So um, reach out to us, guys. We look forward to partnering with you guys and um, yeah, just you guys offering our service in your hometown and assisting customers i mean that's what it's all about we want to make sure we help out our customers and give them a an affordable way of uh, repairing their screens which is what we focus on here's our little showroom you check it out so it's a beautiful day in las cruces las cruces las cruces let me show you guys i'm going to step outside so you guys can check it out here we are we are outside the facility beautiful day see here and I actually get to test out this condenser mic see how well it works here's a little work van see how well it works out here in the wind and the wind is blowing a little bit I'm hoping that it filters out the wind and carries my voice into the microphone so that's it beautiful Las Cruces it's gonna be in the 80s a little breezy but um, you know overall it's good perfect weather to be outside
So there you have it. We are located here, Las Cruces, New Mexico, 755 South Telshore Suite F101. Here's our little business condo right there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm excited to share you guys some knowledge today. So I hope you guys get something useful out of this video and uh, learn a little bit more about the B grades and uh, what qualifies for repairs. So let's uh, dig right in. And like I said, if you guys have any questions, need anything, uh, let us know. Right, guys these are the LEDs that we have that I'm gonna go over with you guys we have uh, two S8s a Note 8 and an S8 plus I just want to go over in detail with you guys what kind of damage can happen to the OLED whenever the glass does break and it um, goes so far it penetrates the actual OLED so um, any kind of bleed bruise or line those are gonna be a little more riskier to repair we do have good success rate on some of them if it's a bleed or a bruise but as far as lines or any kind of flickering then um it's you know it's going to be very very risky it's it's it we recommend just getting a whole new oled so i'm going to start off with the s8 so you can see here um this one i believe has a bleed so you can see here on the bottom right it's got a, a bleed on this bottom right corner here so this is what we call a, be a bleed. It's actually a really dark spot, and um, that, that actually occurs from the impact. It actually penetrated through the glass and damaged the LED underneath the glass. So um, these are pretty minimal. I mean, we can usually work away around these and um, give you guys back a successful uh, glass repair. Um, however, there are times where these actual little guys, they pop. And if they do pop, they end up bursting and you'll just have a, a black dye just running all the way across the screen. Um, however, you can see these are fully functional. Um, no issues with the touch or anything like that. Just a small little uh, visible cosmetic blend that, that is uh, shown on the OLED. So overall, it's, it's, still, a, it's, still, you know, it's, it's still a reasonable repair. I mean, we, we can actually successfully do these. So if it's minimal like this, it shouldn't be a problem. But if anything does go wrong, then we just have to replace with a whole new OLED. Or, you know, we do have some B grades like this, which we can heavily discount as well. If you guys uh, want to just do a B grade and save some money, then having to get a, a flawless A grade LED. So once again, this is a bleed. You can see the dark black spot. Anytime the LED has dark spots like this, those are called bleeds, okay? So that's a bleed. Let's go to this one here. Let's see what kind of damage this one has. Okay, so this one has a, a line running down it. Typically what had happened in this one, the, the glass, when it was uh, impacted, uh, the flex underneath the glass got damaged. It must have got penetrated and uh, caused this little line to go through. Now, if it does have a line like this, this is actually repairable. Um, there is a small, small chance that this line will get bigger, but there is technically no way to get rid of this line. Once it's already running on here, that OLED is damaged. So um, you're going to have to live with it or just replace the whole uh, entire LED. So um, this is what we call just just a, a line. It's, it can be a green line, pink line, or, or a white line. You know, we've seen several different colors come out um, from damage. But um, you can see this one is fully functional. Touch is working 100%. So, I mean, if you can live with this, then, I mean, yeah, we can still replace your screen, no problem, you know. But, um, you know, if, if you're going to worry about having this, uh, you know, lightsaber running across your screen, then, you know, I'd say just, just replace the, the OLED. But you can see it's it's minimal and um, you can see it here on the white let's go to the colored main background and you can see that it's just running across there so yeah this is what we call a, a line um, you know just running down across the uh, screen so next up is going to be the note 8 this one did get some severe damage 
Um, we do call this uh, like a flicker or a line as well because it's got lines that run across from the impact on, on the OLED. You'll see here once I boot this one up. So I believe the line is going to be right here, right on that flex in point right here. So there's a little bleed and right there from the bleed, there it is, you can see it pop up. So it, it caused the line to run across horizontally and it's causing this flicker down below. So these are not repairable, you know, there's no way to fix this line, make it go away. It's going to be there permanently. You can kind of see if I, uh, if I kind of bend it right here, you see that the discoloration on there. So yeah, these are not repairable. You got to replace the whole OLED. Uh, it's pretty much giving like a little halo hologram effect down here. I mean, touch is still fully working. I mean, if you want to work it like this, you can, but it's going to give out. It's not even worth repairing, you know. Um, we recommend just getting a, a brand new OLED. So, um, yeah, you can see the touch and everything's fully working on here. There we go. See, I just lifted it up, put it back in place, and it disappeared. But, yeah, it's going to be a nuisance that there it came back. So once you get a solid glass on there, it may stop flickering. Um, it's probably due to these breaks, the weakness on it causing it to flex and uh, cause this little uh, flicker down below. So we don't recommend getting these fixed. You know, we're going to end up spending too much time trying to save it. And, you know, it, it's a really high success rate that uh, a failure rate, I should say, not a success rate. It's a pretty high failure rate on these guys because, um, yeah, the impact is just so bad in there. It's just damage the whole OLED. So we recommend just getting it replaced. So this is what we call a flickering or a line. Okay. So whenever we reach out to you guys, we may ask you if there's any kind of bleeding, blemishes, um, anything like that. So this is considered a, a blemish, of course, um, with a flicker slash line, you know. So um, I'm hoping that you guys are learning the terminology. So when we ask you these questions, um, you can easily uh, uh, identify what is wrong with your screen. And then we have a, an SA Plus. This one's going to be borderline of a bleed. Um, you know, whenever the impact does go through, but it doesn't go as hard and damage the actual OLED, um, you're going to get a bruise. So bruises are a little more faint. They're not so dark and black. You can see here. And you know what? I grabbed the wrong one. This one's not it. So let me grab the right one. This one has a... A bleed on the top left give me one second all right so this is the uh, correct one all right so you can see these little spots if you look very closely on it you'll notice that it's it's uh, it's just like a bruise you know it's not a black dark spot it's just a, a little bruise slash dead pixel um, that we call it so this just went through so so bad that it just caused a little bruise. Technically, just like a human body, you know, I mean, when you take a real severe, severe impact, you're going to be, you know, blushing gut or, or gushing blood. And, um, you know, and then if it's like a small impact, you know, you're going to get bruised. So these are kind of, you know, similar to that. You can kind of get the analogy of that and uh, put that in. So I'm hoping my terminology is right. Um, yeah, but if not, um, you know, I'm sorry for the terminology not being correct. But, um, yeah, you can see right here the, the bruise, the impact point where the actual glass hit right in here in this sweet spot and just caused it to bruise the OLED. So you can see it here on these dark spots. I'm just hoping you guys can see this a little bit better, but technically bruises are going to be a lighter color. This is the best bruise I can find. Um, but yeah, it's not a blood spot, so it's not going to burst or anything like that. At least it shouldn't whenever we do the repair. So these have a more, uh, higher success rate than, uh, you know, the bleeds. So bleeds, you know, sometimes they do burst and they'll end up running. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. I hope you guys, um, understand what kind of damage can happen to the OLEDs and, um, you know, if you guys have any questions and are unsure about what the damage and everything like that, let us know. Um, leave your comments down below and uh, we'll be more than happy to assist with you guys and uh, and answer any questions that you guys may have. And if you do have any repairs, um, feel free to reach out to us. We'll send you a, a mail-in form that, to fill out and we'll attach a prepaid label as soon as that's filled out within uh, 24, 48 hours. So, 
Um, thanks for watching this, guys. And uh, if you like the video, subscribe. If you don't, um, you know, give it a thumbs down. If you like it, then uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you do want to see more further videos, um, make sure you click on the bottom right there and uh, choose that little bell. Make sure you ring the bell and uh, get alerts from us. So uh, cheers, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video.